I gotta take care of your best friend over here. Well, actually, they're probably not best friends. They're they're probably kind of like, eh. Like, I don't know you, you don't know me, so just stay in your corner, I'll stay in mine, kind of. It's probably that kind of relationship. But I don't know. We'll see. Who is that deep voice? I don't know. Anyway. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. A little closer. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Yeah. I haven't seen a damn thing. Nice and quiet. I know there's nothing going on. Let's get back to it. Oh! oh! Come here, buddy. He's like, I ain't seen a damn thing. Oh, nice and quiet. Oh! My arm is broken! Broke my arm! Uh, I wonder if that camera is gonna see. No, it is not! Okay, so do you have anything on you? Any information that I can use? Do you have anything on you? You have beer! You are drinking on the job, sir! You are totally drinking on the job. Now, if I remember correctly, that is actually level one. But, uh. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very, very tough. Come on, come on. Stop moving, stop moving. Okay. Hack. Hack. Come on, baby. Oh, God. I don't know how I'm going to do this in time. I. I. Oh, shit. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Access granted. Okay. Oh, okay. So that was, uh, I should not have been as stressed out as I was, but still. Still, that is a thing. Burke's spare retinal prosthesis. Geithner, any reason Burke's got a spare retinal prosthesis lying what? around his office? He just received it this evening from the Tai Young Medical Corporation. HQ had a custom set made especially for him as a thanks for so many years of good service. Why? He'll probably be real angry when he realizes it's missing. Jensen out. LOL! Ta ha! LOL, 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 LOL. Who's got your eyeball, Burke? I do, I do. Who's got your eyeball, Burke? I do, I do. LOL, I'm going to play, I'm going to play hacky sack with this eyeball. <laughs> I'm going to play hacky sack with it, and then I'm going to play, I'm going to play, um, Badman? Oh, badminton. Eyeballs make great badminton things. Got some whiskey. Got a book. A Coalition for Liberty, the UN's responsibility to the world. In an age that has seen the rise of terrorism as a means of geopolitical change, an age where no one nation can truly be called upon to shoulder the burden of security and law enforcement, one must dare to consider that the time has come for the United Nations to step up and accept this responsibility. A force unbound by borders or the whims of governments or, and corporate interests is needed in this uncertain time. In the wake of ongoing atrocities perpetuated by fanatics and criminals, the need for such organization cannot be denied. It is proposed that the UN commence a series of evaluation studies to consider with great seriousness the future creation of a new transnational anti-terror force! One! Also known as the Mighty Morphin Terror Rangers! The freedoms we take for granted are under siege and without Guardians of Liberty, they may be lost. To be continued. Wow, Burke. You got a fucked up office. What kind of books we got here? Let's see. Let's. What is book? What does Burke like to read? The Daedalus Complex by Lori Matthews, Ph.D. What else do you like to read? Uh, Bell Tower. He's a big Bell Tower banner behind him. The news. Okay, he likes to read the news. Oh, I forgot to read the news. Damn it! Luckily, I found this. Biochip recall causes more than headaches. Peaceful queues have begun erupting into violent riots at limb clinics worldwide. 
worry over possible lasting effects of the biochip malfunction combined with rumors of preferential treatment being extended to VIPs, law enforcement, and military personnel have sparked mass the mass revolts. In other news, Australian conflict set to escalate. The civil war that has raged for over two years in the Republic of Australia may be on the verge of escalating once again. On Saturday, South Australia Federation troops, otherwise known as the SAF, led by Bell Tower military contractors, clashed with the Free States of Australia, the FSA, rebels outside of Alex Alice Springs NT. I don't know what NT means. One Bell Tower soldier was killed and five others wounded in what the SAF called a draw. Obviously, every death in Australia hurts, stated SAF Department of Defense spokesman Donald Fradel, but progress is being made. Bell Tower Associates continue to, continues to live up to its reputation, and in time, the rebellion will be put down. Privatization versus nationalization of oil deposits in the Australian territory of Antarctica are at the center of the divide. Since when does Australia have territory in Antarctica? Antarctica is supposed to be like internationally owned because no one lives there. Anyway, there's that the whole uh, Icarus thing, a bunch of cracked mirror uh, using negative space to develop an image. Uh, pretty gray. Burke is a very gray man. Very bland, very primary colors. What the... A sick sense of refinement. I could imagine him sitting in this... Not this chair. I could imagine him sitting in this chair. With the whiskey at his right hand. And an e-book at his right hand. And he'd just sit there. At the door. And he'd probably have a gun in his left hand. Just kind of waiting. Waiting for that moment. That one moment. Anyway. Let's move on. Where the hell am I going? Let's go this way, since that way seems to be heading, take me towards where I want to go. Let's go this way, see where this takes me. Exploration is always fun. Oh, where the hell am I now? Looks to be some kind of... What? This is Kiteners place. Ooh, wow. Um, I don't know what that means. Anyone out there read, uh, read Hebrew? It's, I'm assuming it's some kind of college degree, but, uh, be great. Natanya, I have been following your career since with great something 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 Roger. Okay. That is at the wall. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude! I've been here! This is actually the Weeping Wall in Jerusalem! Oh, sick! Sick, sick, sick! So this is Keitner's desk, eh? Happy birthday at the Twelve Apostles. Found your... something yet? Found your... something. Oh my god, is that her? Is that her? Is that her little brother? I've honestly never discovered this one. It looks like she wanted to be a doctor. To care for her brother. Her brother looks to be hooked up to a whole bunch of dialysis tubing. Maybe kidney disease? Or, uh, or some kind of, you know, terminal injury, maybe? Doesn't look like he survived. Stun gun darts. Another ebook, The Bell Tower Way, Company History. Oh, uh, ah, see, UK based PMC. Told you guys, we read this actually. The Bell Tower Way, yep, Company History. Uh, nope, nope. Okay, I think that's it. This has been very informative. So, Keitner's not a bad person, she's just. Put in a bad situation, I guess. Yeah, I guess you could say that. It's, it's not a cop-out if I say that. 
Oh, where is this? Where is this taking me? We're getting close. We are getting so close. Where the hell am I? Oh, sick! I'll take it. <gasps> New book! Hey! The Threat of Cybernetic Discognition Disorder. Opinion editorial column in the New Cybernetics Journal, Fall 2015. That is two years from now, edition by Hugh Darrow. Like every other new technology, from the automobile to television, human augmentation has been pilloried as a menace that will destroy our society from within and reduce us all to drooling imbeciles. I'm certain that, like me, you're just as tired of this reaction to dog whistle punditry. But we can't shy away from the fact that, indeed, cybernetics are a double-edged sword. By making human augmentation technology free for all, we run the risk of it falling into the hands of distressed and mentally unfit individuals such as Zeke Sanders way back in the day. Because if you remember that case, his augmentation or it was either his augmentation or his augmentation meds that caused him to go insane and murder that mall full of people. There's no denying that augmentations change the way you think about yourself, but no more than one would after but no more than one would after cosmetic surgery. And this so called cybernetic discognition disorder seems to be little more than a convenient label slapped on a much deeper problem. The fact is, adding cybernetic implants to your body will no more destroy your sanity than playing video games will make you a psychopath. <laughs> Because that's what we do, right guys? What, what we must be watchful for are those who are, whose already fragile mental states will be destabilized by further augmentation. That is deep. 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 All the way deep. I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm right... Why am I going further away? Where, where are we going? Where where are you taking me? What? Where the hell am I? It's like what is where am I? Where am I? No, I'm back here. But for some reason this is now unlocked. Why? I have no idea. But I'll take it. Or... or not. Damn it! Damn it all to hell. Is there... Uh, uh, mer. Well, at least this is... Oh, the dedicated terminal opens this! Ah! Yes, I understand now. I understand now. But I'm right here! Oh! Oh! Damn it! Ah! Damn it all to hell. I will find a way through there. And if we have to do this the violent way, then so help me, we will do it the violent way. So help me? Secrets... Oh! Burke's revolver! This is a gun! You do not... Uh, I don't know if you get to keep it with you when you go back to the main game. But, Burks. Oh, no, wait! Uh. No, no, you don't. Um, but Burks' revolver is a solid gold plated revolver. Man has some issues. I'll take it anyway, because it's pretty badass. This is a pretty badass re I've never used a revolver in my life. And it only holds five rounds? Seriously? 
Huh.